have six hours until the reptile zoo is open to the public and we've got to get this place cleaned up. So I'm challenging these guys behind me to get this place cleaned up. Whoever cleans the fastest, actually, I'm going to take you guys out to Dairy Queen. What? Yeah! Let's go. Bruce, this is your aisle. Mike, this is your aisle. And Noah, this is your aisle. I get all the big ones. Go ahead. Go. Oh. As you guys know, I really love Elvis. Just like family, he annoys crap out of me with this stuff. He poops every day, every five seconds. I clean it, he poops. I clean it, he poops again. Just like Elvis, we got more monitors. This is Grids, our white throated monitor. He's super cool, super awesome. But he makes a mess. Come on, buddy. I love you. Today's not the day. I got stuff to do because there's no way they're beating me for ice cream. Y'all know how much I like ice cream. I can't believe my dear gave me three animals in one. I don't think those guys have three animals in any of their cages. They have to clean. Ah, anacondas to poop. All right, be good, anacondas. He's a very Joseph guy. You gotta pull this all off and get this done. Get out of here. You know, it's just worth it though when you get a good hug like this. Sure, a lot of you thinking, put him in a tub, right? Yeah, not him. He'll get out. Grab it dubbed up in the tub. You know, I'm just coming here do a little whoosh whoosh and get a little scrub a dub dub in the tub. That ice cream will be mine. Oh, my cuticle. The illustrious Anaconda. <laughs> I got poop in my mouth. <laughs> Dang grits, it does not taste like grits. It was red. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why is it you water up? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Dad. Hose oh, isn't hooked up. Oh. <laughs> Dang it! The time! I'm wasting time! Looks like Bruce is making some headway over here. Oh, oh man, Elvis is a pain in the butt, man. He's, all right. He's getting in the water. He's getting all over the track. We're gonna clean his cage twice. I'm not gonna finish this. Yeah, he's got one cage down and he's got a long way to go. Let's check on Mike. Mike, you almost done with first cage? Yeah, yeah, putting the glass bag on now. Doing some finishing touches. Got Chris ready to go back. I'm ready to get that ice cream. Better pick it up, buddy. Where's the paper towel? Here's the paper towel. Thanks. The one thing I know, guys can't find any. What are you guys doing anyways? So basically we have a challenge going on where Bruce, Mike, and Noah are actually trying to clean whoever can clean the fastest to get this place cleaned up. Are you kidding me right now? What do you mean? These guys can't clean anything. I'll clean circles around them. Challenge accepted. And you guys know that our anaconda, and in particular anaconda enclosure, is really kind of the focal point of the reptarium. And they're just absolutely incredible. Look at Ariana here. He is such a wonderful snake. I mean, absolutely incredible. He's always super curious. Anacondas are such amazing animals. But we do you have to keep this enclosure looking really good because listen, it's the largest, most focal point in the entire place. So guys, I have a $50 Buffalo Wild Wings gift card right here. I'm going to actually hide it somewhere in Lucy's enclosure. I'm going to stop these guys and whoever finds it first actually gets to keep it. Stop what you're doing, guys. Get up here. I've got something to tell you. Guys, I actually hid a $50 Buffalo Wild Wings card no. in Lucy's enclosure. The first one that finds it gets it. Go ahead. It's under a beef flat. Oh, God. Wait, wait. It's $50. Hold me. I need my ability. Somebody's getting money. I just came in there. Oh, it's not in there. easy to get your corner. Noah, what are you doing? The Spider-Man on the window? Come on now. I'm telling you, it's under a pink flap. I'm not good at pink I don't want to like, do any like, quick movements. Yeah. I'm going to do it just right now. I don't want to yell at him, but there's like $50 in here somewhere. Oh, wait a oh, second. I got it. Oh, wow. I took the high ground. Woo! Woo! Feet up. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's stuck in there. Get out my way. Hey. <laughs> good luck winning the challenge now, Noah. We're going to get this ice cream in the feet up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the This looks like it's got like 250 on it. This is Brian. This looks like it's got like 250 on it. <laughs> I get like a, a free Mountain Dew, that's about it. There's no way they would beat me in cleaning. All right, so I need to clean the glass on Tabasco here. He spit on it, so I'm gonna go and steal Mike's because I don't have the supplies that he does, and I gotta win this challenge. You see the baby gators over there? Ow! Perfect. Since Tabasco has kind of reached sexual maturity, obviously it's really changed his personality. It's really cage defensive. Once you open it, I mean, look at this animal. I'm petting it and it's literally putting all of its body weight 
into that pet. So it's really amazing how iguanas are, you know. Once a male hits sexual maturity, they change completely, unbelievably cage dominant. So when we close the enclosure, it literally will like kind of whip its tail, it'll like puff up at us. But as soon as we open its enclosure, it wants love, which is really, really bizarre. But that is one incredible animal. You know, this is an enclosure that I don't typically clean all the time, but it's in my house, so I got ice cream's on the line. You know, cleaning enclosures with animals that can be a little frisky, kind of a little crazy sometimes. So I'm hoping chicken strip just stays up there. Oh look, chicken nugget. <laughs> This guy's taking forever. I, I've got to move on because I need to win this challenge. Hey, 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 hey. I need to, no, what are you doing? No, I need No, man, I this is fine. No, hey, see, you already pulled. Move. Move. What are you doing? Age. Duty before I'm age. I'm older than you. Duty Bro. before age. Bro. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nice big veteran, sir. He's pissed, dude. And he was just super happy. We need to get him into some therapy. He's bipolar. Well, I just cleaned five enclosures in the time it took them to do one. Come in, chicken strip. Hi, buddy. I'm just trying to get the little, just gonna get the little, uh, shetty poo off your thing. Oh, shetty poo, shed and poo. That ice cream's mine. Oh, God, he's hissing so bad. I think he missed the spot up by him. I hate you sometimes. Ooh, dog, I found him. He is gorgeous. I mean, it's chicken strip. He's awesome. He's friendly. Kind of. Literally one of a kind. He's the only albino now monitor in the world that we know of. And now I get to clean up after his poop. I get stuck with Lucky. So obviously, oh, God, thank you. So, so obviously, oh, not the face, not the face. Obviously, Lucky is always going to be a pain in the butt to clean all the time. But I have to pull him out. I've got to do it. This is the quickest way to do it because, like, typically you'd want to stick him in a tub or something like that. But for a lot of snakes like this, if they're small enough to hold with one hand, I'd rather get nipped. <laughs> He's trying to, for sure. I'm trying to win this challenge. Oh, Jesus. Oof. That was right. Oof. I smelled that one. Oh, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, guy. And look at that. I gotta get him off me. Come on, Lucky. You're not. You're really trying your hardest to keep me from winning this. I forgot water. I gotta get water. Ow, ow, ow. That was my thumb. Ow. I was, I was trying to give you some water, bro. I was trying to just give you some water. That's all I'm trying to do. I just gotta wipe down windows and I'm, I'm done with them. All right, so I just finished all of these cages and they're still working on the same cages they were on when I started, so take that. Teenagers. These guys are definitely making some progress. What do you say we make it a little bit more difficult? Stop the work again, guys. Everyone up front. You guys are doing an amazing job with only three hours to go until we open. You guys, I think, are going to get there, so we're going to make this a little bit more difficult. You guys are going to do the next enclosure with your right hand zip tied behind your back. Oh. What is this? Where do I work what? at? <laughs> Okay, guys, you better get to it. Let me just run. I can't catch myself if I fall. For some reason, they don't seem very enthusiastic. Hey, Mike, you, you need your window cleaner back? I do. Yeah, Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Here's that. She got a little urate, brush it right off, make everything look real pretty. Gotta be nitpicky when it comes to cleaning cages. Every little detail counts. Can I just stick like, stay? Uh, I'm pretty impressed with myself. I got the glass off. Wait, what? How did you do that? I'm really good at my job. You know, the worst thing about this, you know, it's like trend that like girls can like have low center of balance, whatever, whatever, and, like guys pick up their hands. It's so true. I can't even reach the stuff in the back without having to balance on stuff. Just trying to get this piece of shed, man. Oh, I don't know how to get back up. <clears throat> Mr. Brian! One thing is, is that uh, I definitely, I can't reach down. I'm double using my hands. I, everything I have to do to, when I'm reaching down to pick something up, when I'm so used to using my right hand, I have to now do, teach my left hand to do it. The pain, and also the fact that it's behind my butt means I have to get up every five seconds to dry this off. Ah! All right, this is, this is a hard challenge. <laughs> I might actually be stuck. What are you doing in there, Mike? Oh, uh, it's stuck. Stuck? Yeah. You can't get out? No. Okay, I, I I just can't. keep, keep cleaning. Okay. I have one arm behind my back and she's just crawling on me. She's like, what's this strange one-armed man doing in my cage cleaning it? How weird is that? It's so hard to do this. My balance is way off. So running a reptile zoo, especially something that's open to the public, it's so important not only for the animals, but also for the appearance that the enclosures are impeccably clean, the glass is clean, the water is clean, everything is, and there is so much work that goes into it, you know? Pretty to hear is definitely big animal ambassador. People love coming to see her, and she is just an absolutely wonderful snake. But again, if she was in a dirty cage, it wouldn't be something I'd want to show off. So the crew works really hard at it. Noah's working hard with one hand right now. If it wasn't for them keeping this place up, I tell you what, I don't know what I would do. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> so definitely, I certainly appreciate them. Look at Mike, he's got the glass out and everything with one hand. He's definitely moving up to a lieutenant in the Reptile Army. Speaking of Reptile Army, why don't you guys go to reptilearmy.com. You can get your swag again. 10% goes to USR. And every single week, I'm going to pick an old subscriber and a new subscriber and give you some free swag. Reptilearmy.com. Lieutenant, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I got it out and in. Woo, woo. All right, guys, two and a half hours. Go get back at it. <sighs> two hours until open. The boys are definitely killing it. Place looks amazing, and we are ready to open. I think this place actually might have burned down. Oreo, dude. Tag and dance. It's not Derek Bob. Do. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. Who ate my ice cream? <laughs> Who did it?